Well, it's time to get back into our youth sports. Yes. The reason why I kind of surreptitiously brought in the horse element was here. If I had to, to say tent pegging, does that sound like something exciting? Tent pegging. Tent pegging. No, no. <laughs> Not unless you're like stuck alone out in the wilderness. But it is, in fact, an equestrian sport that involves very fast moving horses, weapons, and minuscule targets on the ground. And South Africa is one of the so nice. best exponents in the world. So we'll take a look. Bah! Do it. Tent pegging is a cavalry sport which originated in India. It is one of only 10 equestrian disciplines which is officially recognized by the International Equestrian Foundation. Today, I'm going to find out about the ins and outs of this ancient sport. Tent pegging is believed to have been used in the Indian Army as a way of equipping the cavalry with the tools necessary to destabilize the enemy's elephant-mounted troops. Yep, what exactly is tent pegging? In basic terms, tent pegging is a horse, a rider, uh, the rider has two uh, weapons, a sword and a lance. And uh, in a full gallop, the rider must take an uh, object which is in the ground, or in some events, like the rings and oranges, it hangs on gallows. The South African Tent Pegging Association recently held an international test against Pakistan and India's junior sites near Vereniging and Mayaton. Today, we're riding by the FEI rules, Federation Equestrian Internationale, it's a bit different. The sizes of the pegs is also different. Speed counts very much in the international. We have 10 events that we have for the day. Four of the items is uh, riding kinders alone or of, of, of a rider. So it's four items that are only. Two items uh, do us half section. And then four of the items ride us four people together. One young rider who took part was Siddhar from Pakistan. He got hooked on the sport less than a year ago and has already risen in the ranks. The love for the horses has brought me close to tent pegging. And uh, cricket, uh, bug, hockey, everything else is quite a bit common kind of a game. So tent pegging gives you thrill, rushes your blood whenever you're on the horse. So that's amazing. Ahmed, you mentioned that this is your first time to South Africa. What is the standard like compared to back home? The tent pegging in South Africa is really amazing. The standard is high and it's different from us. So it's quite a learning experience for us that we are here. Ten countries participated in the World Cup in March, proving tent pegging's growing popularity. With riders like team captain Joan van Weyck, South Africa is one of the strongest competitors. I started tent pegging when I was about uh, 12 years old, and then uh, I worked my way up. We are four riders in a team, then we must present our arms all um, at the same time, and if you, if you don't do it, you lose star points. The South African seniors won the Tent Pegging World Cup back in March, but at this event, the junior side had their work cut out for them against the visiting sides. Pakistan has improved from uh, when, uh, when I saw them uh, earlier, and, uh, but India, they, they surprised me from the beginning. So yes, I think uh, they're tough. After watching these youngsters perform, it is clear to me that Tent Pegging it takes a lot of skill, determination, and is not for the faint-hearted. The South African junior side won the day and tasted victory over Pakistan and India. The future of this sport seems bright indeed.